Uh, good night, uh, or good day. Uh, this presentation will be in English, for it's the uh, the language, official language of ITI. And uh, today we have Shiro. Shiro. Stress. I forgot your name. <laughs> Shiro. Shiro yeah. from Microsoft. Is going to talk about Action Aid, which is a, a gaming platform for, from Microsoft. And, uh, please just can you come up and yeah, come up. Yeah. yeah, thanks. to come here and talk for five to ten minutes about uh, the Microsoft gaming platform, which is called uh, SNA. Uh, has anyone heard about it? This one, two, few at least know about it. Uh, the SNA platform, uh, you can create games for uh, Windows, uh, Xbox, and Microsoft Zoom. Uh, I've heard people talking about, of course, creating games for iPhone and, and etc. But wouldn't I mean they are really spread around so so uh, I'm not surprised but um, yeah I was asked to come here I had some slides but um, I guess I couldn't put them up but um, I, I'm gonna do my best so but basically uh, the XNA platform is uh, based on the uh, Microsoft.net framework so you can create games using uh, uh, C sharp uh, and so so basically if you're familiar with that, that should be easy to do. But um, what you guys can do, if, if you're interested in, in, in checking that out, um, uh, we are offering to students, like in high schools and, and colleges, uh, something that, that is called uh, Microsoft Dreams Park. And then you can, through that, uh, get uh, the tool you need to develop the games for free. Uh, we also have uh, something called Microsoft uh, Base Park, which is for startup companies. So you can get the studio through there also. And uh, the education licenses are they limited? The education, yeah, they are limited. Yes. So, but you can, like, like I said, get the production or licenses through Base Park. So if you have a company and you're going to develop games and would like to not use the Microsoft platform, you can get it for free for three years. Uh, and then you have to pay $100. Uh, that's the fee for the three years. But yeah, it's limited because it's just uh, for, for tests. But actually, uh, uh, about this platform, um, Basically, if, if you if you know if you have an Xbox, uh, you know that Iceland isn't. You can't actually, uh, for now, uh, submit games that you create to the Xbox Live community because um, Iceland isn't on the on the roadmap yet. But okay, then again, on the roadmap. On the ro roadmap, yeah, they're still adding countries to the roadmap. <coughs> okay. Because um, you can uh, create games. Uh, as of now, I mean, you can do it, but you can't submit the games and start selling it yet. But um, we are in talks uh, with the people that decide that. So we're hoping to have some answers uh, in end of January uh, because we have a um, best of event uh, in the end of January, 26th and 27th. Uh, best of Tacket and best of uh, PDC. For example, we are getting speakers to talk about, uh, I mean, almost everything, Microsoft, of course. Uh, and we are going to have a speaker called Mar Martha Rotter. Uh, and she's going to talk more about this platform. So she can give you probably, I hope she can give us uh, confirmation that Iceland is on the roadmap, roadmap then, hopefully. But um, like I said, uh, the platform is set up to be easy for, for uh, developers to uh, create their games. They have a big community behind it. So if you have, uh, if you want to find something, um, uh, 
and like starter kits or any info on how to use it, you can go on uh, Creators Club, uh, the website, to get information. Uh, and it's supposed to be really easy to start creating your game. And, and of course, you should be able to submit it, but you can't as, uh, as it is. But it's built up that it should be easy for you to create the game, upload it, and, and start selling. But like I said, I think it isn't, isn't in yet, but we're getting there. So that's, that's the, they want to keep it as simple as they can. But like I said, I would have wanted to have uh, my slides so I could sh show you more points about it. But if you have any questions, you can send me an email. You can find my email uh, on our website, microsoft.is. So basically, you can just contact me through there. So, can, can we or can I obtain these educational licenses from there, or from the website, or from you? Or well, the yeah. Well, 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 basically, if you're a student and if your school has uh, uh, access to DreamSpark, which they can uh, enroll now, uh, we are, we have our uh, school uh, is in there. Uh, we have Acne Schooling. We have. Uh, our school in the Reykjavik, Reykjavik University, they're on their way in. And students there can get the environment they, they need to create the games on the platform. Um, so uh, all of the other schools are of course looking into it. I'm just working on that myself, basically. So, And the startup, com startup companies, if they are interested in, in developing games on the platform, they can contact me directly and apply for this part. Uh, it doesn't cost a thing. You Unless you want hundred dollars after three years, do you need to be incorporated with the to be a startup company. Do you need to be an airport or no? No, you can just be a <coughs> yeah, be an individual or a, or a yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's just yeah, it's just up to you. And the 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 only thing that you need to have is to be uh, uh, publicly owned, not governmental or something. Right. Um, you have to privately owned. Privately owned, yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you. That, that was what I was looking for. So, uh, and you, uh, we have have the three year uh, rule. If, if the company is, of course, older than three years, you can't apply. You know what I mean? So you have the first three years. You can get, uh, of course, more than just the, the game development tools. You can get. Uh, um, we have, of course, Visual Studio. We have SQL Server. We have Windows Server. Uh, we have um, SharePoint server. So in this in, in this yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. That's for the startup company. So uh, and a lot of other stuff. And of course, we have of course the, the support and, and and the visibility for the startups. If if a startup company wants to get in there, they will uh, be included in a big database, which um, a lot of big investors are looking at. Uh, and in, in terms of the, for the students, the opportunities for the students to create games on the platform, uh, I have been uh, doing some talks with Reykjavik University about uh, uh, their programming contest they, that they have for the students. Uh, and we really want to try to send a team to the Imagine Cup, which is uh, held in May next year in Poland. And there they have uh, a gaming category, so it's possible that Iceland will have some students uh, in competing in that contest, hopefully next year or, or the year after that. So, so we are looking forward to, to, to go there. Yeah. Can you use this to develop the, the thing you're offering for students to develop for the PC, <coughs> not just Xbox? Yeah, PC. Uh, for, yeah, for, yeah, for Windows, uh, for, for, for uh, Xbox, and for the Microsoft Zoom. Right, we can't do it to Xbox now, but we can do it to PC right away. Yes, PC and Zoom, right away, yeah. But uh, like I said, uh, I, I, I'm hoping, because I, I know that the, the, uh, the gaming industry is progressing here in Iceland, and, and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to, to, to add Iceland into this. I, I'm, I'm really pushing to get this through, so hopefully we can start creating and, and, and selling games on Xbox Live. That would be really good. So hopefully we'll have an answer in end of January. And for you to know, we we uh, the event that.